Hey guys, today I bring you the way I make my delicious recipe for a stew pollock. It is one of my husband's favorite foods and all of my friends, when they come to my house, they request it because they just love it. And the best of all, you can combine it with different types of food. You want to know how I make it? Come y hazlo con su. I have two packs of pollock fillets and the fillets come with a salty cover that we need to wash off to remove most of the salt that we can and the packs have 16 ounces sometimes they come with 12 ounces. After we wash the fillets we will take a pot with enough water to cover them and then we will put it to boil. In the meantime these are the vegetables that we will use to season our pollock fillets. I will have all the ingredients listed in the description box, but here I have some onions, peppers, tomatoes, celery, and cilantro. You will slice them or cut them in cubes, whichever is your preference. I will roughly slice them because I have a vegetable chopper which makes my life so much easier. I will definitely recommend it and I will put a link in the description box. In my chopper, I just try for the vegetables to fit in the little space that it has in the middle and I just chop away until I'm done chopping. I definitely recommend this chopper because it's easy, it's convenient, um, it's not too hard to clean and it's small, it fits basically anywhere. Um, and as you can see, look how fast I chop all these vegetables. Here I'm roughly chopping um, the celery leaves and the cilantro. That will be the very last step that I will need to get my vegetables ready. Once the water starts to boil, you will taste it and you realize how salty it is. So you let it boil for about five to 10 minutes and then you need to discard that water and repeat the process all over again. You fill the pot with water and you put it to boil one more time. I do use a strainer because I don't want to lose any of the meat pieces. And I did this process twice. Once I tasted the water and make sure that it wasn't salty and the meat was soft, I knew it was time for cooking. In a cooking pot on medium heat, we're going to add some oil and we're going to add to it the onions and the celery. We are going to add the ingredients gradually. At this point, we're going to add the garlic. We're going to add the oregano, the black pepper, and some tablespoons of tomato paste. I added a pack of sazon and some water, and then the rest of the vegetables, the tomato, the peppers, and the cilantro. I have added the pollock meat, and we're going to stir it together so all the flavors can incorporate. We're going to add a little bit of water and we are also going to add a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon. You always not going to need the chicken bouillon. So you need to taste it because the pollock is already very salty. So it gives the natural flavor, but you taste it. And if you need it, then you will add the bouillon. And you let it cook two to three more minutes just until the sauce thicken up a little bit and then it will be done. This recipe is a delicious side for your food. You can accompany it with white rice, with rice with beans, with mango, fried plantains, the list is endless. If you like my video, please hit like, share it, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You already know how I do it. Bye.